Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this step-by-step -step tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a wonderful product card like what we have here with a wonderful animation. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to achieve something that looks like this. And when you hover here, you're going to have this wonderful animation. You hover here, you're going to have this wonderful animation as well. And you can see when you take away the cursor, you can see the transition and then you see it here as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our Elementor editing screen, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here, click on this plus icon here, select the Flexbox container, then select this direction here. Then I'll come over here for the minimal height. I'm going to change the unit from pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. Then I'll come over here, justify content to the center, then align items to the center as well. Change the gap to unit from pixel to percentage and then give it a value of 20%. Okay, then I'm going to go to the style option. For the background type, I'll set it to classic and then give it the background color black. All right, I'm going to click on this plus icon here, then drag the container and drop it here. Now for this container, I'm going to call this container our card container. Okay, then I'll come over here, make sure for the width, I'm changing the unit from percentage to pixel and then give it a value of 350 pixel. And then for the minimum height, I'll set it to 350 pixel as well. And then I'm going to come here for the direction, I'll make sure I set it to column vertical and then justify content to the center and align item to the center as well okay so now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to come over here click on this plus icon and then click on the container within and then i'm going to duplicate it now for the first container i'm going to call it circle and then for the second container i'm going to call it content okay now for the circle container i'm going to come over here and then I'm going to make sure I justify content to the center and then align item to the center as well. Then still within the circle, I'm going to go to our widget area and click on the image widget. And then we're going to select an image. For that, so I'm going to select this image here, this Coca-Cola crown image. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to the style option. For the width, I'm going to change the, percent, the uniform percentage to pixel. And then I'm going to give it a value of 300. Okay, then I'm going to come over to the content. Now for the content, I'm going to go to the widget area and I'm going to click on the heading. Then for the heading text, I'm going to set it to Coca-Cola. Coca and then I'll go to the style option and tweak it a little bit, change the color to white, the font color to white. Then for the typography, I'm going to come over here. For the font family, I'll leave it at default. Font size, I'll set it to EM and then give it a value of 1.35 EM. Then for the font width, I'm going to set it to 600, semi-bold, and then transform the, car the case to uppercase. So we'll have something like that. Then I'm going to go back to our widget area and then drag and drop the text widget right below. And then I'll go to the style option, change the color to white. Then finally, I'm going to go back here and then drag the button widget right below the text widget. Now for the button, we're going to tweak it a little bit, we'll come over to the style option. For the typography, we're going to come over here. And then we're going to make sure we set the font width to 600. Okay, and then we're going to leave every other thing the way it is. And then for the text color, we're going to come over here, set it to 111. Okay, and then for the background color, we're going to come over here. We're going to set the background color to D, 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 A, D, A. Okay, and then we'll go to the hover. For the hover, we're going to set the background color to white. Okay. Then we're going to come back to the normal. For the border type, we're going to set it to none. And then for the border radius, we're going to give it a value of 10 pixel all around. We're going to come over to the padding. We're going to link this. Now to the top, we're going to give it a value of 10. To the right, 20. To the bottom, 10. And then to the left, 20. So we now have something like this. So when you hover, you see this white, this transition effect here. Okay, so finally, what we're going to do now, we're just going to toggle this and then toggle this here. So we're going to add an image within the card and not within the circle or content. Okay, so we're just gonna select this card and then come over to the widget area and then click on the image. So you can see that the image is now within the card. Okay, so for this image here, we can see that there is no gap. So let's just go back to our parent container and add gap. So for our parent container, we're gonna come to the advanced settings and for the padding, we're gonna give it a padding of 100 all around. So we now have gap at the bottom here. Okay, we'll come back to this image here and then we're going to select an image. So we're just going to select this Coca-Cola can image. That's okay. So 
Now that we've done everything and everything that looks well, we've arranged all our various components for our animation effect. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add our CSS class. So to do so, we're going to come over here to the card. Now for the card, we'll go to the advanced settings and we'll come down to the CSS class. I'm going to give it a CSS class card, just like the name of the container. Now we're going to come over to the circle and then we'll go to the advanced settings and we're going to give it a CSS class of circle. Then for the circle, the image within the circle, we're going to go over to the advanced settings and then come over to the CSS class and give it the value of logo. Then finally, we'll come over to the content. Now for the content, we'll go to the advanced settings, come over to the CSS class and give it the value of content. And then lastly, we'll come over to the image here, we'll go to the advanced settings and give it the value of product. Now we've added all the various CSS classes. The next thing now is to add our CSS code. So I'm just going to head over to my Adam code editor and then this is the CSS code here that I've written out. Not to worry, I'm going to make this um, code available in the comment section of this video for you to access easily. So I'm just going to come over here, copy it out and then head back to our editor. Then for the card, this container called card, I'm going to go to the advanced settings, come down to where we have the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. Okay, so there will be a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro if you do not have it. So I'm just going to come over here and paste our code. Now you can see our effect has taken place immediately, instantly. And now when you hover here, you now have this wonderful effect. Come over here, you hover, you have this wonderful transition effect. Now you can use this to start spice up your project, whatever project you're working on, tweak it to suit whatever you want. Okay, so now we can still come over here and duplicate this container and make it variety. So to do so, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here. For this card, I'm going to duplicate it. Then for this second card, I'm going to call it the card 2. Then I'm going to come over here for the circle. We're going to come here and then we're going to change the image of our crown to Mountain Dew crown. Let's use this Mountain Dew crown here and then I'm going to select it. Okay, then I'm going to come over to the content. Now for the content, I'm going to go to the heading, change the text from Coca-Cola to Mountain Dew. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to this image here, change this product image here to our Mountain Dew can image and select it. Okay, so now the final thing we're going to do here, we're just going to go to this card too. Go to the advanced settings, come down here to the custom CSS. Now we're going to change every reference of the word card to card2. Okay, so I'm just going to add 2 to the end of everywhere I see card. Okay. I'll do that here as well, and I'll do that here as well, and here, and here, and here, and here, and finally here as well okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color this background color here from red to somewhat green so that it suits our mountain dew product so i'm going to come over here we will have this color code here i'm going to replace the color code with 15b134 i'm just going to copy it out and replace every where i see the red color code this f4009 code this code here i'm going to replace it with our new color code and i'll do the same here replace it here come down here this is where we'll have it again and i'm going to replace it search through the code in your situation to see if there is any other reference for that code that color code that you will change but i've already changed it all so now you can see that if it has not taken place here not to worry the reason for that is we haven't come over here to this card too layout and then change the CSS class from card to card two. So now you see our effect has taken place. So now we'll come over here and we'll hover we now have this effect for the Mountain Dew and we'll have this effect for the Coca-Cola. So you can see this wonderful effect. You can use this to spice up your project design or be creative with it, okay? Then we're just gonna come over here and then click on the update. And then we're gonna go to preview. Now this is what we have, as you can see. So, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well. And if you're new to our channel, remember to 
hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next we drop a new video okay but until then see you on our next video bye bye